Hello all and welcome back to another wonderful Pony Town subreddit video. Today we're going to be looking at your ideas here posted on the subreddit. Every month or so I love to come on here and check out your ideas by just simply filtering by flair, filtering that flair by idea, and scrolling through here and saving some of the ideas I like and sharing them here with you. Unfortunately sometimes there just doesn't happen to be an actual idea such as this one here which is a design idea for shining armor. It's more of a character thing. I guess you could argue that it is an idea but also, sometimes there happens to be things such as this right here um, by someone. That's right. That's their username for whatever reason. Uh, they want this new pony button. I believe y'all should add a are you sure thing to the new pony button in the editor. Like delete has, and I cannot tell you the amount of times I went to change the name of something of the sort before saving it after working half an hour or more on it and accidentally hitting new. It's truly frustrating. If it's added, it could probably... Uh, be something you could disable in the settings for those who don't want it and that's not possible I believe you should add a recovery thing just in case an accidental delete so this has some some things there um, first off if you actually do go to Ponytown and let's say you want to you accidentally hit delete this pony it does give you a prompt if you're sure um, sure the confirm delete button is in the exact same spot as the trash can was just moments ago which is honestly probably a bad design uh, choice there but it does give you the chance to confirm the delete or cancel the delete now whenever you're working on a character and you hit new you are a little bit screwed you do kind of lose the character there so I would love something like that where uh, if you did that it would be like are you sure you have have unsaved changes on your pony or something like that and then boom you can hit yes I'm sure and then boom there you go um, something like that right I think that's good and also the other thing a part of this as well that I would love to have is something where if you did delete a character it would save like maybe three or four maybe even five characters and like a recently deleted tab or something like that for you and then you could recover one of them but after like 30 days or like 10 days or something like that they're gone forever or something like that I think those are some good options for uh, this idea. But then there's other ideas like this one right here. Folders for Ponytown. Wait, they wanna make some folders so they don't have to frantically scroll to find a specific one. Again, we kinda already have this. So I have this character here, Z50 or whatever like that. All I have to do is go to the description right here as you can see from this little tool tip if I hover over this eye. I can simply just type in hashtag whatever. That's right. And then save this character. And now if I click this button here and scroll over to this tags, I now have all my all my barrels ponies, all my birthmark ponies, all my gamers ponies for what I don't even know what that is. What is that actually? Okay, it's just that one for some reason. Uh, maybe I've shared this before. All my species are in here. And then of course my whatevers are in here. So there's already a folder system. It's just not called a folder system, which honestly, maybe it should be renamed to that or something like that. That way it kind of adds to it. Maybe it should be more clear that this is a thing. Um, I, clearly I've had this happen before because clearly I've done this as an example at some point for gamers. But again, this idea, it already exists in the game. It's just not fleshed out well enough in my personal opinion. But of course, I have some new ideas for you as well, such as this one right here by uh, Endergirl13, who wants to see things such as transparency for horns, so you can see even without a lamp. I don't personally like that idea of like having your horn be invisible or whatever like that, but there are ways you can make it seemingly invisible by disguising it as part of the hair and things like that. Transpar transparency for the legs, I'm okay with it to a certain degree. I would love to see uh, uh, the ability to like remove like one limb or something like that but removing all the limbs or making the ability for all the limbs to be transparent or something like that it's just going to cause all kinds of weird issues i don't want to be wa wandering around floating like a little bean or anything like that being able to fly without matching wings or a missing wing um i i, I like the idea of being able to fly with you know without the matching wings thing but a missing wing like if you're just straight up missing a wing you shouldn't be able to fly because i think that just makes zero sense um, so yeah, give us the ability to fly without matching wings, like a changeling wing and a pegasus wing or something like that. And then while you're at it, go ahead and add a few wings uh, while you're in there. Using magic to hold an item midair, this is something people have wanted for a super long time. I don't think we're ever going to get that though. A bowing emote, I think that would actually be kind of nice. I could definitely see that being added at some point. More body styles. I know that would be uh, take a long time to implement, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't really know what to feel about more body styles. I definitely don't want to see uh, like tiny characters or anything like that or like huge characters. I just I just don't think that's going to work out. Um, more accessories for legs. We really do need more accessories for legs because we currently have like basically nothing. We have like socks and that's basically it. So it would be nice to have more accessories for legs, especially something like a spiked cuff. I think that would be very excellent. And then of course they also want something like belts or a pants pattern variation. 
and we have different pants and things like that, but we don't really have any belts. So a few good uh, things in here, but not all of them are super great. But here we have a super great one uh, by uh, Wind Gotcha, who wants to see um, some new face markings and uh, stuff like that. So like, look at this. We got a little face marking there. And then the second image is like a new uh, hair pattern and stuff like that. I think it would be nice to see some of these things. I mean, why not? It's, it's new things. This is also a new set of hairstyles right here uh, by this user. Uh, what, however you want to say that. I don't know. Um, but you can see here they have quite a few um, different hair options here. And I think all of them are excellent. They kind of remind me of Sailor Moon a little bit. Um, but they're they're nice. Uh, and then we have ideas over here by Spirit Hunter who wants this uh, interesting uh, tail option here, it seems like. And I think that'd be awesome. Also, they, they have some colorful lamps here. I would love to see something like that. I think this sprite definitely could use a little bit of work, but uh, just, uh, just a, a little lamp. Why, why, why not? Why not? We have lanterns. Um, but it would be nice to have like an actual lamp or something like that, right? And then uh, they have like a cauldron and candy apples. I could definitely see something like candy apples being in the game, especially since we have the skewers now. Um, the cauldron, I could definitely see that being added to the game at some point as well. Maybe not with stuff inside of it or anything like that. And I don't think it would definitely look way different than this, but I could definitely see stuff like that uh, being added in the future. They called it boilers in this description, but these are definitely cauldrons, right? Anyway. The fourth thing that they asked for is some acorns. I also, I don't know why we don't have acorns. There's definitely should be acorns that could spawn underneath trees at random times or something like that. Um, I think that would be awesome. Just being able to collect them. Maybe it's something like clovers where it's a, a rare item that can like fall and you can pick it up and you get a counter increase or something like that. Um, but yeah, I think that would be uh, just a cool addition to the game. I definitely would love to see something like that. And since it's still kind of fall, it still would kind of work out a little bit. Um, but uh, it, we're getting to the point to where it's going to be winter, where it's not going to make any sense anymore. And while we're on the topic of winter, why don't we have tree variants where all the leaves are gone? I definitely would love to see that in the game as well. But anyway, let's see this idea by Sad Presentation, who wants a moon necklace. A very simple thing there. Very super simple, easy to implement. It's literally just a moon necklace. A moon-shaped necklace. I mean, I can't be any more clear than that. It's it's a good idea. I would love to see that in the game. Now, this person here, um, this this person, Shay on Shay on drugs. That's right. Shay is on drugs, uh, and they uh, want a day-night slider for our party islands. It would be an excellent idea to be able to create a sunset, sunrise, or day-night permanently on your island, or like that. Maybe a slider to get the exact time of day you want, or something like that. I think that would be a cool um, feature to implement, and that's what they want i think a lot of people have wanted the ability to change the time of day on our party islands for a very long time and i would love to just see that finally come to the game now over to our last thing here this one is by t terror uh they would love to see some new flower variants stuff like sunflowers i, I mean why, why don't we have any sunflowers it's so whack that we don't have any sunflowers uh some lavenders some lilies and lotuses too there's actually a lot of flowers and stuff like that that we just don't have in the game and it would be nice to see something where they just go through uh all the gardening stuff and just make a huge new selection of flowers a huge new selection of like colorful flowers and stuff like that like new color variants of the flowers we already have and stuff like that and uh, yeah, that's that's what I would love to see in the game. Uh, but for now, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please do consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and doing all of those wonderful things like that. Because when you do wonderful things like that, not only do you get access to wonderful content such as this, but you also get to become wonderful for yourself. And I think we all want that. So do those wonderful things, and until next time, stay wonderful.